All right, guys, welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Um, so I finally have the fix, uh, and it will fix everything uh, for my eyes. Bam! There you go. FOV fixed. We're a bit further back, but yeah, it's fine with me. It's better than, like, you know, before. It improves things slightly. I don't get a fucking headache from uh, playing this game, and hopefully you don't get one from watching it. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby! Better than new! It fits me like a glove! And leather seats! Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. I don't trust them. We still need to move ahead, but it's all too convenient. Maybe you're right. I guess it's hard to argue when they install an AI to spy on us. We're staying though, right? I mean, this seat is real leather. Good to see you're keeping it all in perspective, Joker. Uh, leather? <laughs> Alright. What, why, why is he tilting his head back? What the fuck? Who runs like that? Alright, we'll just talk to some of the crewmates and also try some of the systems here. Uh, so, I guess we'll, uh, talk to Chambers. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. Yeah, oh, fuck off. I handle my own business. I understand. I won't bother you unless it's important. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound? Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. I don't need you analyzing me, Yeoman. Yes, sir. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the Elusive Man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests, advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar, that isn't in conflict with Cerberus' ideals. You're fooling yourself if you believe Cerberus is noble. I'm sorry you feel that way. I hope time will change your mind. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I better go. Okay. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Good job. Uh, team status. Uh, it's just all the cycle appearance. Oh shit, okay good. Now she can wear something that isn't fucking ridiculous. Unless you guys really like the heels. I right, can view upgrades. Okay, nothing really about that. Message from Anderson. Okay. Uh, it's just all the messages I have, I guess. You got like Umbra Visor and all that. Okay, this all this all stuck. It sucks actually. Advanced combat training. Okay, we don't need we don't need a training video. Okay, I'm good. I think I think I'm fine. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I think she I think she's the lesbian. She can't have any, a relationship with anyone other than uh, femship, which is uh, to as you will. All right, weapon loadout. Ah, oh, two options for sniper rifles. All right, I remember this one. This was the pre-order bonus that they had for this. I, I think I had this in my original run, but it's basically like a rapid fire sniper. We'll just equip it just because. Why not? Um, oh yeah, so the weapon system in this game, oh my god. So I looked at this, I'm like, why is there no stats on this stuff? And I know why it is. 
Um, it's because the weapons in this game don't change. Uh, they don't get any better, they just remain consistent. So, the difference is this one's affecting its armor weakening its shields and biotic barriers. This pistol is highly a accurate and lethal sidearm, affecting against armor weakening against shields and biotic barriers. So, um, they're both effective against armor. Uh, upgrades the pistol. So, I mean, these are mostly just like weird options. So this one's more accurate, I guess, and prob it probably shoots more, honestly. And then we have three options. We can either have the grenade launcher, singularity projector, it's a black hole crater or arc projector. I don't know. I wish I could try this stuff. Is there not like a fucking shooting range or something? I guess there really isn't. All right. Hey, uh, uh this is this is uh, this guy's also gay. If I remember. Commander. There hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You're here because you're Cerberus. Don't expect special treatment. Understood. But not everyone in the group is hardline. I'm an employee because I believe in their current direction. Doesn't mean I don't have concerns about their past actions. Or some of yours. You watch me, I'll watch you. That suits you? What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. If you follow orders and keep to yourself, we'll have no problems. Fair enough, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Obviously not pursuing this relationship. Not because I'm homophobic, more because, uh... He's not alien enough. It doesn't have that big booty of like, uh, I don't know, Edie. Yeah, let's it's, it's, it's fuck Edie. I don't know. What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate. Yeah, That's over now. <laughs> out. I literally don't care. Right, we're not going to go to every room and, and introduce it. I'm sorry. We did enough. Do, do we get to try out the weapons at least? What's this area of the ship? This is the armor. Okay, no, I guess not. Small arms are maintained in a That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. I mean, maybe you should talk. No maybe. messages for you, Commander. I th thanks, uh, whatever. All right, let's go to my, my cabin. Go uh, make a captain's log. Right? No, okay, apparently we can't. Medal of Honor. Whatever. I don't know what these mean. Oh, they're just achievements. So, literally meaningless. Oh, good. It's Mass Effect 1 music. I, I like this option of just select music. Alright. It's all Mass Effect 1 music. All right, uh, let's change our casual appearance. I like I I can't use this. We're gonna be walking around in these cutscenes now. We'll just take the normal thing. Fuck. No options ever. All right. So that's for the, for that. By the way, yes, every single thing has a loading screen. Imagine how annoying it would be if we didn't have the thing to basically make the loading screens a lot shorter. It'd be pretty horrible. Ah, crew quarters, of course. Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. Well, uh, I'll we'll definitely enter here. Shepard, the men's restroom is on the port side of the ship. Yeah, stuff spying on me, Edie. Jeez. Privacy. Apparently, uh, urinals were out were outlawed in this century. No such thing is allowed. Oh shit, she looks different. Commander, what can I do for you? Uh, you have a minute, Miranda. No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, 
What would you like to know? That actually does look a little janky, to be honest, especially a little visor. I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus's long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. The teams you encountered before your... accident were mostly part of our military division. But not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment. And a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions. Even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Well, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy, and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... Abilities. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. But apparently got rid of the heels, though. That was the, that was the one thing I was, I was worried... Well, not worried, but... I was thinking about heals very, very, very poor uh, battle choice. I need, I need people on top effectiveness. Jeff, surprise again! Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. That'd be real nice, Mr. Gardner. We're also removing that thing that she has because holy shit, that I literally. Cannot deal with that every time we talk to her, her having the visor on. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel, you did humanity proud that day. As Sergeant Rupert Gardner here, how can I be of service? Do you have everything you need? I make do, but have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those namby pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical, I make sure they're all clean and running. 
So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals. I wash my hands. Most of the time. This ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel, and I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man, working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough, but losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. <coughs> so we gotta, we gotta go shopping. Nice. Commander Shepard. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising. Even to me. Yet... Here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. You have everything you need. I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres Ice Brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center. A very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planetside is just too static, too boring. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skillian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Oh boy, now it's a party. <laughs> we're gonna find the brandy, anyways. Oh, we're not allowed in here. To the AI core is restricted. Paragon, the fuck? Do I look like some Paragon scrub lord? I guess it's it for that. Let's go up to the captain's cabin for a uh, um, a quickie. A quickie replace Rana's uh, armor. Uh, there you go. Wait, why can't we change hits? Because I, I, I literally cannot deal with that. Anyways, let's try the last floor and I will, uh, I guess, go somewhere else. I mean, not like there's any planet exploration to do. Alright. What's this area of the ship? Normandy's That's no one all cares. <laughs> oh, what? They had a second floor. I just saw stairs. It's ridiculous. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I didn't hear an officer on deck. I run this ship military. Do you two think this is all a joke? Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. Won't happen again, sir. At ease. Who are you? I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Are you set up okay down here? 
We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there is an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field please. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Where did you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single- Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state-of-the-art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the Collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. Carry on. Will do, Commander. Oh. The amazed Shepard came down to see us. I told you he would. I'm literally right here. I, uh, here's the engine core. Oh, very nice. Okay. Just uh, run away. Ignore ED. All that kind of stuff. Oh, they, they added a second floor, so clearly this requires twice the amount of requirements. It didn't need its own loading screen. Uh, there's really nothing here, actually. Uh, how disappointing. Uh, I guess we'll just fly out to our first mission, I guess. Uh, maybe get that in introduced. So we're in the good old days of uh, unlimited video length. But now that the, the, most of it isn't taken up by loading screens. Alright, I forgot how this works. Ah, there we go, good old. So, recruit Archangel, Professor, Veteran. Uh, where is... Oh, wait, we can just fly our ship around. I forgot about that. Uh, oh. Well, I don't really want to do this. I want to... Oh, the Professor's here, actually, never mind. Let's do that. Ah, oh, okay. Well, might as well duck. Now, I don't remember everything about this, so... Maybe it's like a little bit blind, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I know about all that later stuff in the game, so... We're all good. Uh, who, who am I going to take along? Why is this info? Oh, I see. And then I, I can't tell who that is. Zaid. Archangel. Oh, I wonder who that is. Eh, add you. Add you. Even though I hate you both. Alright. Oh yeah, we have two points to spend on something. So I was thinking incinerate an operative, actually. So we'll purchase that one. Incinerate's nice, too. Stops health regeneration, very effective against armor, things like that. That's pretty good. I don't think we're really going to need cryo ammo for a little while. Is there anything that we particularly want with Geth Plasma Shotgun? I don't really care what they have, because they're really useless, to be honest. Sure, it'll be just fine. Uh, 
Welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot. Now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Arya wants to know what brings a dead Spectre to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. I'll talk to your boss when I'm damn well ready. Then you'd better get ready. No one keeps Arya waiting. Afterlife, now. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. They put this guy right here. Oh, here's the map. Like, dude, he's like right in front of my nose. The fuck? Please. You have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. Hey, we have a galaxy to save. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business, but your elusive man can move a lot of credits. What's wrong with the text? Why is it like in a black box for this? My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him, and for my bring him in alive rates even. Please, I didn't do it. I said <laughs> shut it. Tried to lead me on a chase all over the systems. He should have known better. These people always run to Omega. I assume you've been briefed. I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. Go ahead and get set up on the Normandy. Right, I'll go make myself at home. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. I'm assuming there's some part of your contract that I'm expected to handle. That about right? Yeah. Funny he didn't tell you. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Eldfell Ashland refinery on Zoya, and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. We'll get to it if we can. Our mission takes priority. I know you've got bigger fish to fry. That's why I'd like to get this other thing dealt with as soon as possible. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. Alright. So we got that guy now. Alright, that's all the time we got for today, so uh, next time we'll continue on so take care it looks like i have like both my party members on my boots it's fucking weird all right bye you know what i was just about to save and then i noticed i didn't put any points into my other squad mates so because it has this menu here that doesn't really tell me that they have things so cerberus officer uh gives her combat bonus to the entire squad that sounds pretty good that sounds like actually useful uh she's not loyal Warp. Warp is good. Overload is good, too. I'll we'll just give her a Cerberus Officer. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, boy. All of the fucking bonuses. Alright, what do you get? Cerberus Operative. Uh, he increases his health and damage. Alright, well, that's useless. Um, this will give him incendiary ammo or something? I don't know. Man, I don't know. Or just have like a bit of everything. We're not gonna be using it really past anything, so alright, that's now we're done by.